guys, this is Sean. This is Red. He keeps trying to kiss you. This is Red. He's about a 10 year old, uh, kind of a foxy, uh, 14 pound palm or so. The kind that you cannot make look like boo to save your life. But anyway, um, I'm going to clipper back him and I just wanted to show you how to get a good finish on a palm. A lot of people have trouble with undercoated dogs. Um, I've been doing him for a long time and what I do is I bathe, them, I bathe my palms in a conditioning shampoo, and then uh, his owner unfortunately likes him short. I'm normally a person who won't go, you know, shorter than one inch. Um, I do go a little shorter than that with him just because this dog was about seven years old when I started grooming him, and he had been uh, basically shaved with a seven his whole life in some other city, some other place. So. Anyway, I'm just going through every square inch of him with the fine side of my Greyhound comb. Good boy. And he has a bad, he has a bad uh, neck. He hurt his neck a while back by jumping out of the car, so uh, gotta be a little careful with him. But anyway, I'm gonna do uh, number two, um, pretty much open back all over. I use the, the blue number two. Thank you, thank you. And uh, anyway, here we go. doing a palm haircut, um, I never go down the legs. Um, I've shaved some matted palms, but you can do a lot of blending. I don't do a blade or even a comb down into this leg hair. I just think it looks choppy. So I do the body and I kind of blend off with that armpit area. I take a swipe. I blend the legs on palms. I just, I don't know, I just think it looks better. I'm not even sure if you guys can see this very well. I just kind of sculpt down the top of the leg. And then I'm going to swipe out the armpit. And I'm not pressing. I'm not pressing all the way down tight on the skin. I'm actually kind of somewhat uh, clip sculpting, I guess you want to call it. And off the back of the head is really hard with palms. I'm not sure if you can, hopefully you can see this. You know what I'll do. I'm going to stand you up here. I know. There you go. He has a bad, a bad neck, so I'm trying to be a little careful with him. So I'm going to try to see if you can see. I'm going to do the back of the neck. It's probably going to be hard. Because I'm going to come off about an inch below the occiput, and I'm going to go from light into a little bit more pressing so that I don't have to work so hard to blend the top of that head. I'm not sure if you can see that. I'm just kind of, it's not real tight, not real short, so I'll be able to scissor out a lot easier. And 
got me a dollar store, so selfie stick, so that's pretty entertaining. I think I want one of those little monkey octopus things so that I can, you know, clip it to a, a grooming arm or whatever. But if you find you're getting lines, uh, a really bad tracking or high-low spots, like these kind of foxy palms, you know, not the show quality type perfidy palms, um, like he's really straight on the back and then he has all the undercoat in the, the thicker areas. Um, I leave my regular all the way open when I do palms. I know a lot of people, they go against, they shave everything again. Um, I just kind of, some palms have a problem with rebuild, so I just kind of err on the side of caution, and I like to just go a comb shorter and stick with the grain. I don't know. A lot of people say they can't get a good finish. I just kind of always done it and gotten a good finish, so anyway, everybody's different. I can just go on either side of the base of that tail. I've already clipped his, uh, his privates and his pads and all that. He has a bad back, so I can't stand him up on his hind legs. That really hurts him, so anyway, I'm not going to do this whole dog. I just wanted to kind of show you how nice a finish you can get on a palm coat if you really use a good conditioning shampoo, fluff it perfectly, um, liquor brush it perfectly, and get a greyhound. Get the wide side and then the small side of your greyhound. I'm just kind of sculpting here. As you can see, I'm not trying to. I'm using a number two comb, but I'm not trying to, um, you know, get it crazy, crazy, mega short. My soul, I love you. I love you. I love you. Gotta watch him. He's a Frencher. He's a sneaky Frencher. He's a I don't think that weird. That's okay. They like it when I sing badly too. Aww. Once you get the hang of the clipper back, boy, it's so much fun to just kind of, you know, use it for sculpting. I'm getting older and my eyes aren't so hot. <laughs> I'm clipping really weird so that you guys can still see this. So I'm going to show you that. See, I'm not sure if you can see that, but I just kind of take a comb over it after I've done the back and it just kind of blends it all and if you take a little soft slicker just no I'm not brushing really hard I'm just blending everything so there's a finish on a pump so I'm not finished yet but I just wanted to show you that you can get a nice finish on an undercoated dog. Key is in the prep.